Hi, and welcome to the Hyperduino and MakerBit workshop. I'm Chris Torrance. In this video, I want to show how to add interactivity to your MakerBit project by hooking it up to multimedia, including videos. So let's get started. Begin by plugging the power cable into your maker bit. You'll have two cables to plug in. One goes on to the micro bit, and the other one goes into the DC jack on their maker bit itself. Then plug the other end of the cable into the USB port on your computer. When you plug it in, the light should blink, indicating that everything is working properly. Go ahead and start up the maker bit app. The maker bit app allows you to connect your maker bit to multimedia content on the web and control that content using touch sensors and light up LEDs depending on what that content is. So the app itself consists of two pieces. There's a web browser over on the right hand side and then on the left hand side is a list of media list items. So the first thing we want to do is actually name our project. So we'll call it my project and then we'll go ahead and we'll start linking content. So to do this I'm going to go ahead and link a video and I want to just click on the video icon here in the tab. If you have access to YouTube, you could actually search YouTube instead for a suitable video. Go ahead and select the parts of a volcano video. There are a lot of different kinds of parts in a volcano. So what we want to do is we want to link up what she's saying with what's going on in our project. And to do that, we'll go ahead and we'll add our first media list item. Click on the green plus and it brings up a dialogue allowing you to edit the start and stop for the video. We're going to start at 10 seconds and stop at 12 seconds. This is the part where she says the main vent. We want it to respond to this touch point here and we also want it to light up this LED here. So to do that, click on the blue triangle to expand that media list item. And now we can say that we want it to respond to pin T5 and during that portion of the video, we want it to light up LED5 and then turn off LED5 when it's done. Let's go ahead and try it now. If we click on that touch point, the main vent. She says the word the main vent, and you saw that the LED lights up. Now let's add another one. Click on the plus again, and now we'll go from 12 seconds to 14 seconds. This is the part where she says the secondary vent. We want to respond to pin T6 and light up LED6 in this case. Similarly, now we want to do the crater. And in this case, we're going to go from 16.7 seconds to 17.5 seconds. And again, we now want to respond to pin T7 and LED7. For the last touch point down here, we want to play the entire video. So let's go ahead, we'll hit the plus, and we'll just set our time back to zero seconds. Now, for this one, we want to respond to pin T8, but we don't need to put in any LEDs because they'll light up automatically while she's talking. Let's go ahead and try it now. Hi, this is my volcano project. So you can see I clicked that touch there point and it started to play the entire video. Volcano. Now, when it reaches the 10 second mark, it should light up the, the main, main vent. vent, the secondary vent, the secondary cone, and the crater. In addition to videos, you can also add other web content, including web pages, Google Drive items, Google Slides. Depending on the application you have, YouTube videos, Google Earth, and Wikipedia. In this video, we've seen how to add interactive web content to your physical diorama or project. Now go ahead and see what you can create using Roger Wagner's MakerBit. <laughs> 